So there we have some names on that list as read by the Senate President Kazuela Pabi. So back to, 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 the, to the question, first of all, was that, was that delay not, um, is it justifiable given the government that, you know, wants to hit the ground running? Could we now say the president was not very sure or had not had things in plan before? Um, I think it's a sign that uh, yeah, he was never prepared because uh, for somebody that had been declared the winner of the presidential election, uh, TK, in early March, and since that time, could he come up with the people that he will work with? Uh, so it's, it sounds so strange to me because it's uh, from that time till now it's almost uh, four months now. A serious person that are prepared for election should be able to know who and whom you want to work with. I know that there will be politics playing on. Uh, you know, people from uh, the members of the party who want to bring in their uh, their candidate. But before he was sworn in, he should be able to know who and who he will work with. So this delay to me. Though it's still within the constitutional provision of 60 days, but uh, there's nothing wrong if he's, if if he if he missed the, the the time before the expiration of the 60 days. And again, we have not even submitted the complete uh, list. The list. We are still waiting for the 11 for 11 ministers. And again, we are hearing that he's going to create uh, more ministries at a time that we are saying that uh, government expenditure is too much he wants to create more ministry i don't i don't see any reason behind that the constitution says that every state should provide a, a minister i think we can stand stand with that that is 36 and abuja because abuja is usually usually produce a, a minister too so if we have 37 minister that should be enough because of the constitutional provision if not i would have even suggested that they should be streamed down to around 15 or, or 18 because it is not the number of ministers that matter all this year we have been having multiple ministers what have that what have we gained from it and again the people that he has appointed they are all politicians they are not technocrats among them they are not core there, business there, people there are a few i don't i have not seen any of them all of them have played one role or the other as politicians we if we cast our man back to 20, uh, 1999 that Buhari, uh, Basajek came on board. He, he brought in, you know, technocrats from outside who, who were not called politicians. And the beauty, the benefit, the goodies we are enjoying in the banking sector today was brought to, to bear by Sobudo when he was made the CBA governor. Prior to that time, we could only withdraw money from the branch of a bank where you open the account. And that was why when people were going to uh, on the shelf to go and buy goods, they have to withdraw money today and uh, carry money along. That was why we were having army arm robbery, arm robbery that time, highway robbery, whereby the way we let them take away their money. But with the reform in the banking sector today, you don't need to carry money all over the places. You you have your ATM card with you. You can make transfer from anywhere. You can use POS. You can use all the because that man knows what he's doing that was why he brought that to bear in the banking sector the same thing happened in the telecom sector so we should we should look for people that are not called politicians the eight years of Buhari was driven by politicians what do we get from it there were no innovation okay so i'm um, coming to you before i go on to we'd go on to talk about the quality of people of the list as he has started um, former Senator Shio Sonny in a Twitter post said the president embraced some serpent in his list. What, what, do, you, what do you think he means by that? What? And then uh, on a second note, so politics is sort of a game of give me, I give you. And we can see that in some of the nominations, some of the nominees are people that, okay, over during the electionary period, worked with and for the president. And now, so are we supposed to have things like that or we are supposed to have capable hands that can drive uh, the economy and the nation at large well let me give it um, to him he's the president and so in his wisdom he has nominated people he feels he can work with mm. that's one two there has been an intense power toss of the APC over this ministerial list because so many people in APC believe they deserve to be rewarded with ministerial appointments. And even in the states, there's a, there's a lot of wrangling in the states. And of course, the list was changed a number of times. Mm. The amended portion of the Constitution says 
said, you know, says that the list must be transmitted together with our portfolios attached. But now they've transmitted the, an incomplete list, which is a constitutional breach one, two without the attached portfolios, constitutional breach two. So all of these things show a blatant disregard for the constitution. Then you you know you having to populate the list with people who are regarded as having failed woefully in their states as governors. You know, it, it, it begs the question of how seriously mm -hmm. these people want to be taken. Because if you say you hit the ground running, first I keep I tell people that that thing is a fallacy. You can't hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. You can't hit the ground running. You have to hit the ground roll. Even if you're a paratrooper, you hit the ground, you roll, and then take position before you move. So nobody hits the ground running. When you popularize a fallacy, a lie, you see, it's difficult to build on it because there will be contradictions all along the way. So, Nigerians want people who are ready to do the job. Not people with peddling influence, carrying themselves all over the place, making a lot of noise, you know, singing, dancing, and just generally fouling the atmosphere, you know, generally causing distractions. But, Jobs, but, but singing yeah. and dancing could be part of a celebration. No, or, no, you, you, no. Why, why, why do you dance when you have not achieved anything? When, when, when people are poor, when people cannot eat, are the people, people are hungry? Are the people who are, are crying over the hike in school fees? Are they dancing? Are they singing? Are the people whose who, who, whose livelihoods have been affected by the purported removal of first Are they singing and dancing? You see, mm -hmm. all of these things go to show that many people, many of these people in public positions are serious. They take everything to be a circus, a joke. And so, what do we have? Poor performance. What we want, you see, are measured, we, we want measured tasks. Not just rewarding people, tired brains. People have not really achieved anything. What are the goals? What are the goals? We have seen some documents. Okay, uh, Tinubu's economic uh, gender, so, 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 and so. New so, 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 and so. Now, ask yourself a question. Is it, look at the names, look at how they performed in previous positions. How do you now put that side by side with the expectations of Nigerians? The basic, you see, in the constitution it says that the basic duty of government is to provide for the well-being of the people and to secure them. It's in the constitution. So, when you don't choose the right kind of people who can drive your agenda with radical policies, with different, you know, different ideas, and then who cannot fit into the 21st century because mm. their thinking is still is still locked okay. in, you know, <laughs> in outdated modes. Mm. Then what do you have? You see governors telling you they are traveling abroad to look for foreign investors. Who does that these days? They're just market. Oh, we should start to use bicycles. The, <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> Dubai. How many countries, you know, the, the leader of Dubai visit before you saw the explosive economic growth? Right. I think all of these things have to do with all seriousness. They just believe, just throw something in the list and just to talk about it. Along the line, we look for something else to throw. True. You just keep know, distracting the people. Elapsed. But at the end of the day, nothing is changing. I can say, tell you for free that nothing will change because they say the money shows the day. So, so what, what, as we bring it to a close, what exactly now is the solution to this? Or the what, solution what can get, be done? You see, get people who are ready to work. People who are serious, to, you know, who are serious about the business of government. Will this be a task of the Senate people now outside, because there will be a people outside Senate. politics? Did, you see, outside did politics. you see how the screening was done in the Ninth National Assembly? Take a bow and go. That, no question. Take a bow and go. Just, just a circus. Just and portfolios, portfolios are not even attached to them. How do you question them? How? How, how do you question how, them? You are not going their, back. How they are going you to go, run the ministry? You will go back to the old idea of asking them to recite the national pledge. Is that what will put food on the tables of Nigerians? The answer is no. All right. We 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 hope that um, things will take a better course. Really. Uh, this time around, I mean, with a list of... Uh, I, personally, I am hoping for the best. And I think that is what every Nigerian...
And we have been hoping since 1960. Has it changed from, anything? From when, since when? We have been hoping. I hope if you hope with it, without taking our action, it takes you nowhere. It is not just about hope. It's like people say that I have ideas. If you have ideas without taking action on those ideas, mm. you will not go anywhere. If you say you want to go to university, the first thing you do, you have to write wise. Yeah, Get your yeah, uh, O-level uh, papers. You write jam, you pass it there. You now write post-jam test again in university. Those are the procedures. So if we hope, we have been hoping for 62, 62 years now. So has it taken off everywhere? I guess I'll, I'll have to take that back and say the Senate should do better with should, the, take action. should take action and do better yeah. with the uh, the nominees that we bring people from outside the uh, politics mm. technocrats mm. from outside politics the senate should actually return that list and say oh respect the constitutional provision attach the portfolios mm. we're not joking in this country what is all this you say these people are in your party except um, wiki you know they're in your party you see that you don't know their competencies then you're going to take up to December again to start allocating ministries All right. to them. All right, then. So well, there, we there we have it. Finally, I, I think I'm going to agree with on that. With that, the Senate, I said, should return the list. Mm -hmm. of, well, just so do that, better. And to insist that do the better. portfolios must be attached to them. Okay, thank you so much.